Hi everybody, today we are going to be discussing quadratic equations. Now quadratic equations are equations where one of the variables have been raised to the power of 2. For example, x squared, a squared, y squared or whichever variable they've chosen. And there are certain rules that we want to look at. Um, the first rule is that we want all the variables and the constants on the left hand side and we want the right hand side equal to 0. What we generally need to do then is to factorize to solve for x. Now, because it's been raised to the power 2, generally there will be two solutions for x. However, there are exceptions which we will discuss in the examples that follow. So let's look at our first example. We have x squared is equal to 49. Now, remember I said we want everything on the left hand side so we take it over the sign changes and we have x squared minus 49 is equal to 0 which we need to factorize it's the difference of two squares so that gives us x plus 7 times x minus 7 is equal to 0 and what we do now is we can say if the first bracket times the second bracket is equal to 0 we can split the brackets and say the first bracket is equal to 0 and the second bracket is also equal to 0. And then what we have is two linear equations. And we say if x plus 7 is equal to 0, then x is equal to negative 7. And we can say that if x minus 7 is equal to 0, x is equal to 7. Though that gives us the two values we need for our quadratic equation. Let's look at example 2. We have 5x plus 2x squared minus 3x is equal to 0. Now what we want to do is write this in descending powers of x. So we write it in the form 2x squared plus 5x minus 3 is equal to 0. We then factorize this and we say that the factorized expression is 2x minus 1, x plus 3 is equal to 0. And again, we can split the brackets and we say 2x minus 1 is equal to 0 or x plus 3 is equal to 0, giving us 2x is equal to 1 and therefore x is equal to a half or x is equal to minus 3. Let's look at our third example and this is a common factor example. We have 3x squared is equal to 12x. Remember, I told you we want the right hand side equal to 0. So we take that over to the left hand side and we say 3x squared minus 12x is equal to 0. And we take out the common factor. The common factor is 3x and we are left with x minus 4 is equal to 0. And now we can say that 3x is equal to 0 or x minus 4 is equal to 0. And therefore x is equal to 0 or x is equal to 4. Let's look at example 4. Now example 4 is one of those exceptions. Remember I said we always need two solutions for quadratic equations. But if you look at this expression, you'll see that it's a trinomial and when we factorize it, it's x minus 2, x minus 2 is equal to 0. Okay, it's a binomial squared. Remember we did binomial squares in products where we did that? It's a binomial squared. x minus 2, x minus 2 is equal to 0. However, we now need to solve this as a quadratic equation. And if I split my brackets, I'm going to say x minus 2 is equal to 0 and x minus 2 is equal to 0. Therefore, x is equal to 2 and x is equal to 2. But it's exactly the same value. So all we need to do now is say that x is equal to 2. Let's look at our final example. This is a more complex example. We have in brackets 3x minus 1 times x plus 2 is equal to 10. Now what we want to do is we need to multiply out. So we'll have 3x squared plus 6x minus x minus 2. And we bring that 10 over to the left hand side minus 10 is equal to 0. What we do now is add our like terms. We say going to say 6x minus x is 5x and minus 2 minus 10 is minus 12. That gives us a trinomial which we need to factorize again. And we're going to factorize that into 3x minus 4. x plus 3 is equal to 0. 
and we split our brackets, 3x minus 4 is equal to 0, or x plus 3 is equal to 0, so x is equal to 4 over 3, or x is equal to negative 3. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson. Please don't forget to share this video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you, and I'll see you next time.